Hello everyone, welcome to another Cloudflare tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to fix SSL handshake error in Cloudflare. This is also known as 525 SSL handshake error. Now, as you can see, if we go to here, to this website, we can see that basically an SSL handshake failure or error 525 means that the server and browser were unable to establish and secure connection. Now this can happen for a variety of reasons, right? And here are some of the reasons and how you can fix it. So you can update your system date and time. This is usually what uh, it is the problem with, right? So let's start with one more unlikely causes, but that is the incredibly easy to correct if it is the problem, your computer's clock. So make sure your system is not using the wrong date and time, right? So your computer clock might have been set incorrectly, so make sure to set it right this time, okay? Now, once you set it up, make sure to see if you have that error once again, okay? If you do not have that error, you need to check to see if your SSL certificate is valid, right? Now to view the status of your SSL certificate, you can use an SSL certificate checker tool, such as Qualys, so which is this white right here. You can just put your host name right here, uh, obviously, right? And uh, yeah, you can just put your own uh, domain name and then see if uh, basically that is the case, right? If your status, SSL certificate status is even valid, right? Um, so this is how you just put your uh, you know host name, as I said, and then here you can see valid from, valid until, right? Now, if that's not the case, let's go to the third option, which is configure your browser for the last, latest SSL or TSL protocol support, right? So sometimes the best way is to determine the root cause of an issue is by process of elimination, right? Now, the quickest way to determine whether a particular browser is the problem is to try switching to a different one. So tr try switching to a different browser, right? Another potential browser related issue is a protocol mismatch. For example, if the server only supports TSL 1.2, but the browser is only configured to TSL 1.0 or TSL, uh, TLS, sorry, 1.1, there is no mutual supported protocol available, right? So this will inevitably lead to an SSL handshake failure, right? So basically to check this, go to your Chrome, open your browser, go to settings, advanced, then this will expand a number of menu options. Under the system section, open your computer proxy settings right here. And you will see here, open up a new window next, select the advanced tab under the security section, check to see if the box next to use TLS 1.2 is selected right here as you can see. If not, check that option. So check that option if this is the case right here. Now, that's pretty much it, right? It's uh, obviously also recommended that you uncheck the boxes for SSL 2.0 and SSL uh, 3.0 as well. And also verify that your server is properly configured to support SNI, right? Now, as you can see, server name indication, basically SNI enables web browser to securely host several TLS certificates for one IP address. Now, there are a few ways to check this, right? One option is to use Qualys SSL server test, right? which we discussed in the previous section, which is this right here. Um, obviously, you can input your site domain name and then uh, select or click on submit button. On the results page, look for a message that reads this site works only in browsers with SNI support. This is your message right here. Now, another approach for detecting if server is using SNI is to browse the server names in the client hello message. This is more technical process. It it determines you to be a little bit more tech savvy. So if you're familiar with, you know, using tools such as OpenSSL Toolkit, Wireshark, you might find this method preferable. You can use OpenSSL as client with and without the server name option. This is how it looks like right here. If you get two different uh, certificates with the same name, it means that SNI is supported and properly configured. However, if the output is returned, certificates is different, right? then it's probably not configured, right? Now, resolving this issue may require switching to a dedicated IP address as well. Okay, this is, uh, this is the, the final thing that you can do is to make sure the Cypher suites match. If you still haven't able to identify the cause of the SSL handshake failure, it might be due to Cypher suit mismatch. In case you're unfamiliar with the term, Cypher suits refers to a set of algorithms, including one for key exchange, bull description, and message authentication codes. So as you can see, this is how it will look like. Again, as you can see, when you input your domain and click on submit, 
you'll see a summary analysis page. You can find the Cypher information under the Cypher Suites section right here, as you can see. These are the Cypher Suites. As you can see, week, 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 that means that this is not a good report. Now, obviously, uh, if you're still, right, if you're still uh, have an error, then comment down below how, how do you want to fix this error if someone already fixed this error so that you can help others that are watching this video. I hope this video, uh, you find it useful. Uh, I know it's a little bit fast paced, but if you have any comments or questions, comment down below and I'll help you out. So thank you guys for watching.